Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So one of my ultimate goals in life is figuring out how to keep as clean and organized a home as possible with as minimal time and effort required as possible. So what's the best method? That is something I've been asking myself for years. I've tried so many different things and recently, about two weeks ago, I came across a new method that I've been trying out and it is a weekly cleaning schedule where you tackle one household cleaning task a day for 15 to 20 minutes and by following the schedule, which is very manageable, you can keep your entire house clean. And this is a method that was developed by a blogger, Clean Mama. I just came across her through a friend of mine and I'm like, you know what? This sounds interesting. I'm gonna try this. And I have to say, it is the best method I've found. So I'm gonna share it with you all today, but of course, full credit goes to Clean Mama, whoever you are out there. I will link to her blog post down below. She has printables there. You guys should definitely go and support her because she knows what she's talking about. Now I'm gonna walk through with you guys this cleaning schedule day by day. So Monday is bathroom day. You go through and do a speed clean of all the bathrooms in your house. The way that I tackle this, I go into my bathroom and I spray everything down. I use an all-purpose cleaner that works on everything, so it just makes it really easy. Spray down the mirror, the sink, the toilet, and the tub. If you need an extra abrasive in your toilet, you can use baking soda for that. Really easy and natural solution. As I'm cleaning my bathroom, I just make sure that I'm switching out my microfiber cloth very frequently just to avoid cross-contamination. So following this quick cleaning bathroom method, each bathroom should take you five minutes or less. And with the bathrooms, you don't need to worry about the floors. We're gonna get to those another day. So you just need to focus on cleaning the surfaces in your bathroom. Tuesday is dusting day. So for this, you just wanna move very quickly around your home, room by room, dusting things off. Furniture, television, your blinds, anything that's sitting on a surface that's going to collect dust, clean it off. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I am all about the clutter-free lifestyle as much as possible, so I like to have as little out as I can, so it's less stuff to have to clean. The strategy you wanna follow for your dusting is to go from top to bottom. That way, if you are brushing off dust from corners of your ceiling, it's gonna fall down lower onto the floor and you can get to that later. For my dusting and surface cleaning, I just like to keep it simple and I use a microfiber cloth. I find it works extremely well, it's washable, so that's what I use. Now, the logic here is that if you do your dusting on Tuesday, you do your vacuuming on Wednesday so that you can collect all of that dust that has fallen. The strategy that she recommends that I've been following and I find works well is to start on the second floor in the room farthest away from the stairs and work your way room by room moving closer towards the stairs. Then once you get to the stairs, vacuum those as well and then do the rest of your downstairs. As you guys probably know by now, I use my cord-free vacuum. I just find it much more convenient and it's faster but use whatever vacuum you have. So the main vacuuming takes place on Wednesdays, but for any in-between spot cleaning that you need to do, she recommends that you have a broom handy for that. I have a mini vacuum that I keep in the broom closet in my kitchen, and that's what I personally use if there's any in-between spills. Thursday is the day you wash your floors. So ideally you would want to vacuum and wash your floors on the same day, but when you're working on a speed cleaning quick schedule like this, we just don't have the time for that. I use my Swiffer Wet Jet to mop all of my floors, and I did a video where I shared a little hack for how you can unscrew and refill the Swiffer Wet Jet cleaning solution bottle with your own cleaner so you can save money. Friday is what she calls the catch-all day. So this would be the day that you can use to get caught up on laundry, bills, meal planning, any other household tasks that you need to get to. I personally have been using this day as my deeper kitchen cleaning day. So that means cleaning my stovetop, appliances, dishes, countertops, getting all of my kitchen in order. And Saturday, which is actually the last day of this weekly cleaning schedule because Sunday is the day of rest, is sheets and towels. So the thought here is by tackling sheets and towels all together on Saturday, it will help reduce your overall laundry load for the week. So I just run one load with 
all of the towels from around the house and then another load with all of the sheets from around the house. So I will run my sheets and towels and make sure in that same day to fold them and put everything back. And that is it. Like I said, Sunday in this schedule is the day of resting and enjoying your day. And this is so opposite from what I had been doing. Sunday was my big cleaning day and I would spend almost the whole day cleaning. Now I have Sunday to relax and take off. So I have been really enjoying this method and it works, it's easy, it's fast. One thing I will say is because I have a toddler in the house, I also do spend an additional five to 10 minutes a day just picking up after him, his toys, and things that he's thrown around the house. For me, it's more like 20 to 30 minutes of cleaning a day, which I find totally manageable and for me, preferable than doing everything on one day and having to exhaust myself. One little tip that I've been doing that's made it a lot easier to follow is she has this little illustration of the main cleaning tasks for that day of the week. I printed it out, I hung it up so I could very quickly and easily see what I need to do that day. It's a good reminder and it keeps me on track. So let me know in the comments what you think about this method. Is this something that you would try to do yourself? Do you have any questions about it? So this is just the weekly cleaning schedule. If you want me to do a video in the future of the monthly or seasonal cleaning schedules, then let me know down in the comments and I can do those in a future video. All right, so that's gonna be it for this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Oh, my cleaning schedule? I'm so glad you asked. I just happen to have this with me at all times. Monday, I visualize cleaning. Clean head, clean room. Tuesday is when I practice my cleaning mobility exercises, my wiping motion, my vacuuming arm. You can pull a muscle if you are not properly prepared. Wednesday is my day of rest. Thursday through Sunday, well, those are also days of rest. Okay, so when do you actually clean? Oh, I don't actually physically clean anything. You, you thought I physically cleaned. <laughs> oh, no.